Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alexandra Kay and I am here to tell you the story behind my brand new song, We Wouldn't Be Us. So I was in the studio in Los Angeles in a write with John Levine and Priscilla Renee. And John started asking me about my relationship with Indiana and how long we had been together. And at the time, it had been six years. And as soon as somebody finds out we had been together that long, the first thing that they ask after that is, when are you guys getting married or has he proposed? And so that led me directly into telling him a story about something that had just happened while I was visiting home for the holidays. So it was December of 2018 and I was playing my first hometown show coming off of the TV show West Side on Netflix, which is what brought me to LA and I lived there for two years shooting that TV show. So you guys check that out if you haven't done that yet. I was playing my first show at Silver Creek in Belleville right off of the show and it was supposed to be really big. It was my first hometown show in almost two years. And so everybody was calling, I mean all day long. It was the day of the show and both Indiana and I's phones were blowing up. Everyone was like, how do we get tickets? What time do we need to get there in order to make sure we get in the door? Um, you know, everybody just wanted all the info that day. And the show was that night. So Indy hopped in the shower, I was, we were getting ready for the show and Indy's phone rang and I thought it was just another one of our friends. So I picked it up and the guy sounded really thrown off. He was like, uh, uh, is Indiana there? And I was like, uh, yeah, hold on. I was like, Indy phone. I said, one second. So Indy flies into the room, jumps on the bed, grabs the phone and lays right next to me. I mean, he is touching me, right? So I can hear what's happening on the phone. And he's like, hey, the guy says, this is so-and-so from something jewelers. Your ring is ready. And I was like, my face just dropped and like turned white and his face turned white and he looked at me and it was like silent. And we were just like, uh. And I was like, no, and I ran out of the room. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And he was like, I gotta call you back, dude. And I hung up, hung up. And I was crying and I was like, I ruined everything. And it was a whole thing. So I'm telling John that story and John's response to the story is, that's messed up. And I said, yeah, but I feel like if it went exactly as planned, like it wouldn't be us. Everything, nothing goes as planned. There's always a wrench thrown in somewhere. That's just how it is with us. And he goes, that is a really good song concept. You should write that. And I was like, cool. And then we continued to write the song together. So that night I get home, I get in the bath, I'm chilling and I write this whole chorus, right? About this relationship that isn't perfect, but the people are perfect for each other. And I was so hooked on this chorus. I sent it to John, John was like, that sounds great. So I called my friend Matt Wynn to help me write the verses and the bridge. And he was in Nashville, I was in LA, so we did it on Skype. I just told Matt, I said, I want to sprinkle in some very specific things about me and Indiana in these verses. Um, I want him to listen to this song and be like, I remember when that happened, but I also want everybody else who listens to it to feel it too. So I was like, that is the goal for this song. And we started writing. And obviously one of my favorite lines in the entire song is, I remember last December, I overheard you talk about the question you were asking and the ring you bought. I started crying because I ruined the surprise because that's the whole story. I mean, without me telling that story, without that happening, this song wouldn't be anything. So I just felt it absolutely had to be in there. And was just, it was just so me and Indy when that happened. And so when the song was finished, I was actually signed to a record deal at the time. And I sent it to my A&R and he was like, this is really good. You know, I wanna hear it with your vocal because Matt had cut the demo. Shortly after that, I, lost my record deal. So I went independent and, and that's when I started, you know, recording Die Bar Dreamer and putting it out independently. And I went and I recorded, I kinda don't put it out. I, I recorded all the Cowboys and put it out. And, you know, my whole message of putting those songs out was, you know, these are songs that, that this label that I was signed to had the opportunity of putting out if they believed in them and they didn't. My fans are absolutely incredible and ended up taking both all the Cowboys and I kinda don't 
to debut at number one on iTunes independently, and both of them just hit over a million streams, and all without any major label backing, all without any playlisting, um, all because my fans believed in it. And so I saved We Wouldn't Be Us for the fourth single, my fourth independent single, because I really wanted to show people who I am in this one. Um, I released some of my favorite songs that I, I've ever written. Um, I kind of don't, and All the Cowboys, and I'm a Dreamer. That's how people know me. They know me as a ballad songwriter. They know me as a sad songwriter. And so I wanted to give them that and that side of me and then, and then let you guys see deeper into who I am and who my fiance is and, and our love and our love story with We Wouldn't Be Us. So I think the timing is absolutely perfect. Andrew Capra did an incredible job producing the song uh, as he produces everything that I do. Um, when we started thinking about the campaign around it and the cover photo, um, actually, I think Kurt, did you? <laughs> he goes, um, it was Kurt's idea to use the laundromat. Originally, we wanted to do, what do we want to do originally? 50 diner. What was it? 50s diner kitchen. Oh yeah, so originally we wanted to do like a 50s kitchen and do something really retro. Um, and we wanted to use my fiance in the cover, but unfortunately, thank goodness we didn't do that because he's been out of town for like two weeks. <laughs> so we, he would have pushed it back. Uh, major. We ended up coming to this laundromat and doing a really great retro meets modern, um, really bright colors, fun and bubbly shoot that I, th I think really encapsulates the best things about this song. So when we started thinking about it, I was like, whatever it is, it needs to be fun. All my covers are like, <laughs> I'm so sad. And Kurt's super excited to do something in color instead of black and white for once <laughs> too, because all my covers have been um, in black and white. But um, I'm so excited to put this song out, probably more excited than the last three singles because I just think it's very relatable. And I think, like I said, you know, we get on social media and we see everything painted so perfectly. We see clean houses and we see perfect families and, and we don't get to see the nitty gritty. We don't get to see the fights. We don't get to see the marker drawn walls from the kids. Like we don't get to see real life ever anymore. And I think that it's given people a complex and, and you know, I'm very guilty of scrolling through social media and being like, oh, my, ne my life's never gonna be as perfect as theirs. But the reality is, Perfect doesn't exist. And if you're happy with somebody, truly happy, if you love being around them, if you know they make you feel things you've never felt, if you feel the same way on a beach vacation with them as you feel sitting on the couch watching a movie, then that's your person. And your story is your story and you should own it and you should live in it and tell it and cherish it while you have it. That's what I've done with Indiana over the last, it has now been, eight years and we get married this September. I am happier than I've ever been and I really hope all of you guys find a love story like this as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of The Story Behind. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. I have so much more content, covers, videos coming for you guys. Keep up with me on my social media at underscore Alexandra K on Twitter, Alexandra K Music on Instagram and TikTok and Alexandra K on Facebook. If you guys want to go stream my songs, We Want It Be Us is finally out and I can't wait for you to hear it. You guys can also listen to Dive Bar Dreamer, All the Cowboys, Better Than Goodbye. I kind of don't. All of that is on Apple Music, Amazon Music, Spotify, anywhere that you guys get music. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you so soon.